right, folks, welcome back. Today we are on a road trip up to Hilton Head for Ashley's birthday, but we're gonna do some thrifting along the way. Always looking for golf clubs or anything else cool that we can use ourselves, sell online, or just have fun trying out, and then donate back at the end. Almost died already. Be a way to uh, start the uh, road trip, but never know what you're gonna find though, so let's go find it. Let's go find it. Oh my goodness, how perfect is that? On our way to Hilton Head, First Goodwill has an RBC Heritage Tartan hat. That is amazing. If you're not familiar with it, RBC Heritage is at Harbor Town yes. in Hilton Head, and the winner gets a tartan jacket. So that is too good to be uh, <laughs> true. But let's see if there's any golf clubs worth picking up in here. We got a T Rex from Master Grip. We got a full set of some King Snakes, King Cobra knockoffs. We got a, looks like a full set of these Prince irons over here. What is that? Diamond Al, head. That is pretty cool. Al Wagner. Looks like it's a, oh, there's tons of full sets in here. That is very interesting. Oh man, I wish there was a, a full set of these. A Wedgwood. Nice. That is uh, pretty sweet. If you guys, <laughs> you know, we're big fans of uh, Wedgwood. They actually commented on uh, one of our videos yeah. and I saw a, a Wedgwood staff bag one time and they wanted like four or $500 for it. I almost, almost did it. It would have been pretty cool. Yeah, but, but uh, maybe we can find a one of those uh, staff bags in a thrift store one day. Let's see what else we got. Get a TaylorMade burner knockoff. Got some uh, X14 knockoffs as well. What do you got down there? A Young Gun. Oh, okay. Well, Young Gun Pro Series. There you, there you go. You want your junior golfer to go pro? That is a club for you. Oh, I think this is one of the Tiger Sharks. Yeah, this thing is very interesting. Extremely low profile. If you get in the rough, you could go right underneath the uh, golf ball with that one. But I don't think we uh, need one of those, but we definitely need the Wedgwood and the perfect. That is amazing right there. <laughs> oh man, next Goodwill. And check this out, a vintage ping hoofer bag. That is awesome. Super close to the one that I used in uh, high school. Definitely going to uh, pick that up. That's that is cool. amazing. You guys know we love the uh, old school ping stuff. And that blue, right? Yeah, mine was blue. We still have it, but that one is uh, super cool. Oh man, check this out. We got a uh, McGregor Pro only staff bag right there with a lifetime supplier. Any of these uh, persimmon, they look like they're all laminate. Oh, this is a designer's model though. Golf technology system. Whoa, fancy, fancy right there. Got a Tommy Armor 845 knockoff in there. Some Hogan Radial knockoffs. Got some Northwesterns over there. They've had this peerless uh, wood in here forever. Got a, a tailor-made burner knockoff over there. Some more of the uh, radials. Oh, we got a, a Nicholas Air Max. If you guys are looking for a super cheap set of uh, irons, the Air Maxes and the uh, woods are pretty good too, but the irons specifically are very good. Oh, check that out. The uh, Vols, but this is really clever to pull off the head cover. Yeah, Tennessee Vols. I've never seen a, uh, a head yeah, cover with a handle like, like that. Like that, which yeah. is fine, but that one's even easier. Fancy. That's a uh, technology that they need to bring back. And right? speaking <laughs> of bringing back, definitely bringing back yes. that old school ping bag with us. Exactly. That is Super cool. <laughs> Early call on the uh, thumbnail. Yeah. That's kind of amazing. And to go along with our vintage ping bag, check this out an old school Tiger oh Woods shirt. And we also found a treasure trove <laughs> of golf shirts. Check this out. We got the Cheez It Bowl, both Nike. We've got this Adidas shirt, which I've seen in stores recently. We've got a Vineyard Vines one and a uh, South Carolina Gamecocks uh, colorway on the uh, Adidas golf shirt right there. But Ashley with the uh, find of the day oh, on cool. that Tiger Woods one so far. <laughs> that is pretty sweet. All right, pretty good start to the day. And speaking of good starts, don't forget we're having our 225,000 subscriber giveaway going on right now. All you have to do is be a subscriber, like the videos, and then comment on any video this month of August, and that will enter you in to win a left or right-handed Scotty Cameron Newport. So uh, good luck to everybody entering that, and hopefully, you, oh yeah, thank you for 225. I think we're almost at 230 yes. now. So uh, thank you guys for that, but hopefully we can find ourselves a Scotty Cameron at the next stop. Well, it looks like the golf section is being overrun by the Halloween section. It's not even September yet. So let's see what we got over here. A couple of uh, Halloween themed yes. <laughs> tennis rackets. What else we got? Oh, those are kind of cool. The uh, shafts on there, the Tour Logic Junior Pros. We don't really pick up the uh, junior clubs, and if we do, we usually give them away for free when we set up and sell at the uh, flea market. But Oh man, check this bag out. A, man, it's a, a day of bags right here. A Nike stand bag, the Nike Extreme Sport. Let's see if the, uh, the stand works. The Nike bags notorious. are super collectible, but they're notorious for breaking. That one is in unbelievably uh, good condition. Oh cool, it's a uh, Rosen College from uh, University of uh, Central Florida, which is not too far away from here. It's like $15. That is definitely cool. All right, well, we're definitely going to a picture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like all we've got is so far is uh, a hat <laughs> and a couple of uh, bags. Oh. But uh, 
that is definitely uh, worth it. Hopefully, uh, you going guys in are... the back. Oh, it's going in the back. Yeah. yeah. It is the back. It's pretty early in a uh, road trip to uh, start stuffing the uh, car with bags, right. but it's definitely worth say it. It's club storage. Oh, club storage. That's there what you we're go. Going with. There you go. We can convince ourselves <laughs> of anything. <laughs> All right. Next stop, the Daytona Beach Flea Market, and I am already seeing a bunch of golf clubs. This is my favorite booth. That's not a actual like a golf store. There's just so much stuff everywhere, and there's golf clubs everywhere as well. But see if there's anything. Yeah, definitely a treasure hunt. See if there's anything worth picking up. We got the uh, tour models. We got the uh, what is this? The professional driver. Eight degrees of loss. Oh, it's the driver, the stealth wide body. My nickname in high school. We very rarely find the actual driver of it. Usually, it is just the uh, fairway woods. Got a lefty golden bear, desert classic, king snake, king cobra knockoff. You like this knockoff? Oh, oh. Donald Triumph. Yeah. Comment below. Oh, there's two of them. They got the uh, driver. Comment below what that is a uh, knockoff of. We'll leave you uh, guessing on that. This is also. The square two, not a knockoff, but it's kind of like an offset version of the uh, old Callaway steel heads. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if there's anything else in here. Oh, there's another set of golf clubs over here. Like I was saying, this is my favorite booth in here. Let's see, got some Spalding Executives, Metal Wood, Spalding Five Wood, a 77 a Lucky Wood in there. Be kind of funny if it wasn't a seven wood. Really big putter. Oh yeah, you are the world's greatest putter. You can probably putt with that. Let's see if there's anything. Usually there's some back in this uh, little part over here. Usually these ones are a little bit better because they're under the uh, tarp up there. Uh, we got a uh, R7 knockoff. We got a uh, tailor-made burner knockoff. The heater. <laughs> it's kind of an inter yeah, bringing the heat in terms of the uh, knockoff game for sure. We got a Wacka Wacka by Nitro. Interesting. Maker of the uh, cheapest golf ball at Walmart. Got a Master Grip putter. Not see it anything worth picking up, but the half the fun of this place is just the uh, treasure hunt part of it. There you go. Hello. What? Oh yeah, the McGregor bag is sick. Look at the uh, little pull tab right there. Oh, we got some uh, hanging up here. What do we got? Oh, that's on the uh, other side. We'll have to go over there. You can tell by the grips. Oh, that's a putter grip. It's worth checking out. Mm, updates to come. I don't know how to get over there. <laughs> Keep it all alive in case it's Scotty Cameron. Well, shockingly, it was not a Scotty Cameron, but uh, there's a few more booths in here that we can uh, check out, so stay tuned. All right, let's see what the golf ball guy has for us. There are more than golf balls in here. You would know that if you've uh, watched some of our videos before. We got a uh, set of uh, Ping G's right here going for 295. Ping I's 325 right there. AP ones going for 350. Oh man, that's a crazy deal on these uh, Ping G tens. Five, six, seven, eight, nine pitching wedge for 135 dollars. They've got all the stock shafts and the stock yeah. grips. That is, that is nuts. We're definitely going to uh, consider that one. We've got the uh, TaylorMade R7 Limited down there, which you don't see every day. No. It's got the uh, Pro Force V2 shaft in there. One of my favorites. It's got the PXG 0211s. Pretty good option actually if you're going to uh, buy stuff brand new. You don't want to drop a ton of money. Mm -hmm. Their uh, 0211 lineup is not bad. You got 175 dollars on the Ping G400. Got the uh, Ping Answer for it. You don't see those every day. Nike Covert going for $125. Got the uh, Jesse Ortiz, Bobby Jones mashup right there. One of my favorite uh, As Seed Out TV clubs. A couple of great big Bertha twos. Got the Taylor Made Mescala Ladies Club going for $60. You like that one, right? Yeah, I hit it pretty well actually. Yeah, that was a yeah, pretty good find. I think we found that for like a dollar at a thrift store not too long ago. Got a yeah, Big Bertha Warbird 4 Plus. Let's see, no problem uh, Dunlop right here. <laughs> Got a, a Cobra Amcel going for $75. Bunch of uh, older uh, Callaways right there. Got a smorgasbord of single clubs. Uh, got a very loud fan, fan. <laughs> not fan of the fan, but uh, oh, this is cool. We got an Odyssey Dual Force, like a little dagger putter, That's almost cool. like the uh, Odyssey uh, or the uh, Akushna Bullseye. Four f Dual Force 440 for twenty five dollars. Easy for me to say. Get the uh, oh, that is cool. The Cleveland Classic. Ben Crenshaw used one very similar to that. Got the Seymour putter, a slot line, dual force Rossi, the gold version, don't see that very often. Got the uh, Bass Ackwards uh, putter right there. That one is uh, pretty sweet. We got a uh, goofy looking, oh man, check this out. It's like an entire collection. Yeah, it's like an entire collection of ping putters right here. How do we miss these? We got the uh, ping pal, Tom Watson, to use that to win most of his majors. We got the uh, ping right in, and the prices are insane. I think this is a BQ. Ping Pal 6 BQ for $35. That is, what in the, that is insane. Oh, I think this is another BQ. Yeah, 
35 dollars for a ping bq putter ping yeah. pal four. Oh, i'd say these are the same too yeah that, I bet is, that one says it on there yeah that one's definitely bq and then well obviously that one yes. says bq uh, on there as well we got a couple of the actually a ton of the uh, manganese bronze in here not as collectible but still super cool there's a bunch of other pings on the other side over here it's like a ping collector's dream yes. oh my goodness let's see what we got Ping an please be a ping answer 2x. Ping answer 2, ping pal 4, ping b60, ping pal 4. Oh man, my all time grail is a, a ping answer 2x. It's my uh, high school putter. I still have one, but I'm afraid to uh, take it out because they're unbelievably rare. They actually got uh, banned because the uh, hosel was uh, too long. I don't know why that made it illegal, but uh, they go for a huge premium. But dang, speaking of premium, two beryllium That's copper really cool. pig putters at the uh, flea market we got a uh, Voki sm4 not to your issue what is that thing oh it's a heavy putter giant heavy, long putter a heavy long putter <laughs> that will uh, be five thousand dollars to ship right. if you uh <laughs> guys oh man we got the uh, pink i2 wood set right here one three five and seven hundred twenty five dollars for the set if you guys are pink collectors that is pretty cool we also got the uh, pink g10 going for twenty five dollars right here this thing has to be uh it's a little bit messed up that's still a pretty yeah. good deal if you're looking for like a really easy to hit driver and you're just starting out the combo set between the, that pink g10 and those irons Good to go. Good to go. It wants to get all ping day. There you, there you go. go. Ping pal four beryllium copper and another ping pal beryllium copper. I think it was the six. I already six. forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I know it was the bigger one because it's goofy, but I think that's totally worth it. $135. Yeah, I think so. I think so too. All right, folks, how amazing was that? We literally walked into one of our favorite flea market vendors selling off his entire personal collection of pinks. He has even more that he hasn't put out yet. So just collecting dust, so he figured to move them along. Yeah, and speaking of moving along, we're almost in uh, Hilton Head right now. We're at a uh, Piggly Wiggly. Usually we do a, a little challenge if we can shoot even par or better. Yeah. We're on our road trip, so we don't have time to do that yet. But it is Ashley's birthday tomorrow, so I think we're going to uh, spoil ourselves with a treat at yes. Piggly Wiggly. And speaking of treat, a Ping BQ Pal 4, a Ping BQ Pal 6, and some uh, G10s. Yeah. That was a Quite crazy a beautiful deal. beautiful ping bouquet going a beautiful on. beautiful ping bouquet. Almost as beautiful as the uh, person uh, holding it. And almost as beautiful yeah. as this tartan hat. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. Almost as cool as one of our uh, favorite YouTubers. He has an actual tartan jacket. Wesley Bryan. Oh, I forgot about that. Of the uh, Bryan Bros. Won. Yeah. We huh. should do a, a match. The uh, hat versus the uh, jacket. Uh, I don't think he did They actually to subscribed that. to our channel. Yes. We met them at the uh, PJ Merchandise Show. Oh, we met George. Yeah, we, George. Yeah, we'll see. We'll uh, contact George. Be like, hey, you want to uh, play for <laughs> a, a, a tartan trains. jacket versus a Goodwill tartan hat? <laughs> but uh, definitely an amazing day. Hopefully, you guys are excited. We'll probably do the uh, rest of the uh, trip um, in Hilton Head. We'll have a video, and then on the way back, yeah. we'll do another uh, thrifting adventure. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. Also, stay tuned for a two hundred twenty-five thousand subscriber giveaway. Yes, thank you guys. But, it's crazy. Uh, I'll do a, a little uh, treat here at the uh, Piggly Wiggly. It's worth it. It's also worth it. make a good thumbnail. Oh, Thanks. perfect thumbnail. This is why we keep you around. For your looks and the brains. I am just here to uh, fill time with talking. Ah, <laughs> oh, nailed it. Let's well, try to get this one right here. Oh, with the tree? Oh. Yes. All right. Treat incoming. Also, throwing down the gauntlet. Match for the hat. <laughs> we'll leave the Goodwill sticker on there too. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm not going to subject Ashley or you guys to uh, torture right here with these pick. Actually, that actually looks kind of delicious. It does. Pickled beet eggs, how much are these? $5.99. Uh, do you want to get those? Also, I'm getting tons of uh, weird stares. I'm not sure if it's because of the uh, camera or because I still have the Goodwill sticker yes. on my weird hat, but. If they were cold, I'd be in, but room temperatures will We'll get those and then we'll, uh, yeah, that's why people will subscribe. There Next video, we'll eat those <laughs> once they're uh, cold, but uh, I think we're actually going to uh, get the uh, cheer the wine. Staple, the a Carolinas. staple of the Carolinas right there. If you've never had one, well, well, I guess we have to buy it and then we'll eat it or drink yeah. it. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We could just open it right here and then pay for it. Are they watching? Are they watching? Here, look. <laughs> Oh no, there's an employee right there. No, don't. Oh, instead of getting kicked out, we decided to uh, pay for it uh, first. But if you've never, yeah, if you've never had a uh, cheer wine, it's kind of like a uh, cherry Dr Pepper. There you go. Oh, that should be the thumbnail right there. It is delicious, but they do have a zero one because this thing is incredibly sweet. Just like you. All right, we'll give it a little uh, taste test right there. Maybe we can get the uh, thumbnail again, right? No. Oh, who's Failing. bigger? Forced perspective. Who's bigger, me or the pig? <laughs> He's judging you. I wonder if people are gonna judge. Oh, can I do this with the camera in your hand? Oh, oh, oh. I'm oh. Spanish I'm moss. Oh, 
There you go. We did get the beats. You guys didn't think we were going to get the beats. We got them. Subscribe for more. See you next time.